Hi Scorpio, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for July 2022. This is a love reading for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you for all the support. I send you love and positive energy right back so that you are attracting more love into your own lives. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are something different every week. So one week it might be, um, well, this week it's a love reading, but next week it could be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. Another week I'll do a law of attraction tarot card reading. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus about love, please. What does Scorpio need to know about love for the best and highest good of all concerned with Scorpio? Messages for Scorpio about love, please. All right, so we will start here by drawing three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards in the advice. Your energy is the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and Temperance. Their energy is the Five of Wands, the Moon, and the World. The advice is the Empress, the King of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. I like it. Yes, it's in the cards. We've got three major arcana. No, I'm sorry, four. Four major arcana. That's significant when you only have nine cards. I mean, arcana means mysteries or secrets. I can't remember if I told you this before. So we're talking about major revelations coming through here. Mysteries revealed, the mystery of love being solved and being readily attainable to you. So you have Pisces, Sagittarius here. You have Leo, Taurus. We have, um, let's see, Scorpios there. We've got fire, earth. Yeah, fire and earth, quite an interesting mix there. So this is your energy. Um, talk about a push-pull dynamic with the Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, but I actually think they balance each other out. So you've got the enthusiasm, the flirtation, the sexual chemistry and energy of that Knight of Wands coupled with the Knight of Pentacles, stability, commitment, determination, long-lasting, the knights are here of service. So these two come in to get the job done. They come in to get what you want. So you want a relationship that's, it's interesting, it's spontaneous, it's fun, there's chemistry, there's laughter, there's enjoying each other's company, but it's here to run the distance. It's not one of those things where that was fun for a week. I don't even know where they are now, you know, or where you've made plans and you're, you're it's almost confusing, like what happened? We made all these plans and then now, now just nothing? So with this, it, it gives you the best of both worlds. And so um, the Knight of Pentacles too, that's here to say good news is on the way. Now, I like the, the energy of temperance because it's healing energy. It's absolute love. It is the Archangel Michael, probably one of the archangels that when people see showing up, it gives that huge sigh of relief, like everything's going to be okay, that your heart's desires are answered, they're presented, they're available. But with the Archangel Michael, too, there's a very easygoingness about this. And I feel like part of it is you have somebody here who's a match. So it's going to be very easy to be in one another's company. That wear the world like a loose-fitting garment. There's not conflict here. There's not something. Now, I feel like the person you're attracting, we're going to talk about them momentarily. They may be leaving behind relationships that had a lot of conflict. So I feel like this temperance energy is partially them coming in and saying, I want to I want to have a relationship that's fun and that's easy to be in that grows and flourishes evolves and we understand each other. So there's going to be a great understanding between the two of you. And it all comes from source. Both of your energies signify source and the empress has it too um in in the um advice. So I feel like it's about meditating, quieting the mind. Being in that place of high vibration, spirituality, knowing you're a divine being. So there's someone here that's manifesting you as well. And so you're always attracting love when you're in this energy. 
Now there, they've got a really nice energy with the world. I love that here. And with the moon too, I feel like it's going to be a new phase of their life that brings in nirvana. So the five is chaos, right? It's an activity, mediation, and change card. So I feel like they're moving out of some kind of strife or they may be moving away from a time in their life that was way out of balance. Like there was too much work. There was too much, even for some, almost an obsessive working out where I feel like they really went overboard, but they realized that where they were realizing this, my time at Planet Fitness was superseding everything else in life, you know, where they were really into it. But, and it doesn't mean that they're going to turn into a blob, but they're understanding that there's more to life. And it may have been very intentional too, if they went through a bad breakup or even a job loss where they're in the last two years, life was turned upside down and they said, I'm going to get it together. I am getting my act together. They may have gone a little bit overzealous, but I do feel like they're back with that uh, moon card is, is back into being more balanced because the moon brings in balance. I want to tell you too, the moon is the fourth from the last major arcana. So with the moon and the sun, you've got, I think it's 16 yodes or yads of the tarot, those droplets coming down from what's the moon mirroring the sun. It's blessings. It's like the, I feel like when this person meets you, Scorpio, they're going to feel like, my God, where have you been all my life? They are going to be head over heels in love. It is going to feel like a breath of fresh air. There's something about your energy that is very appealing to them. And I feel like it is based on some things they've been through, but I don't feel like they need a therapist, okay? They're not looking for you to process all of their crappy old relationships. So with the world, the world signifies travel for some it gets into that, and I feel like maybe they travel for work. I also think they enjoy travel, but I do get travel for work for some of you. With the world, though, that wreath of victory, there, you know, got the dancer. She's dancing in the wreath because she's full of joy. It really is everything when you have the world, but it's also um, a portal into the divine. So they're telling you that this union is divinely guided. It's a change of perspective that brings in great success. It's synthesis. It's really having an energetic connection where you feel like this is meant to be. And both of you have it. You both feel that this reciprocal, beautiful energy was yours for the taking all along. It was just a matter of aligning with it. So I do feel like, too, with this person, they're going to feel like their life is really complete with you as a, in a relationship with them, like they've got it all. So the advice is great, too. Now, the King of Wands is like, the, the master of like sexual relations and energy. So I do feel like it's going to be quite a hot and steamy uh, relationship. But with the king of wands, he is committed. So you've got a committed partner here. And with the empress, she's perpetually pregnant. So watch out with that king of wands, empress energy together because you definitely could be reproducing in this energy. So if that's not quite on your agenda yet, just be aware of it. But the empress emanates love. She is all things love, all things beauty. She is ruled by Venus and she brings more love into your life. But in this relationship, there's this great chemistry and sort of this, in some ways there is a little bit of a fiery connection because it's excitement. The wands are the energy that make you say, I cannot wait to be with this person. And that's what I'm getting off of this, this feeling of like, I can't wait until... I can't wait till we're out of work and we can go out to dinner. We can go make dinner, sit down together. There's something about this where it just feels like a homecoming. And so with the three of pentacles, you're making plans for the future. The two of you, you've got it all. You've got the romance, the chemistry, the intellectual compatibility. And with the three of pentacles, you have the commitment. It's moving in together. It's creating a design for living together. And I know that sounds pretty dramatic, a design for living, but that's what I get. It's like this almost entire lifescape. There's something about this where the two of you really do see eye to eye and you want more. So let's see here. What a beautiful reading. What the angels have to say for Scorpio about love. What does Scorpio need to know about love, please? Messages for Scorpio about love. Advice for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. 
be assertive. So get yourself out there, especially with that Knight of Wands. It may feel like you can't wait to meet him anyway. Trust, trust that the universe always hears you and is always interaction, interacting with you. We've got forgiveness. So you, with the temperance energy, it may be about previous relationships, but there's not a conflict here really, other than that five of wands. If you're in a relationship and that applies to you, I'd say move forward within the next few months. And you've got, there's something better. So when we get that, we ask, okay, when you're asking the universe, don't be shy. Say this or something better, and the universe will bring in the something better for you. You might just be surprised. But there is love here. Yes, it's in the cards. I love you too, Scorpio, and I'll be back again soon.